Hello everyone, it's Robin here, and welcome, welcome. I'm so happy to see you all today. So today, we're gonna be doing a plan with me in my classic vertical happy planner here, and I wanna pull from my new Starry Halloween collection that just released on my Etsy shop, and I'm thinking there might be a little witch in all of us, because we're gonna be pulling from the Witching Hour collection. I love these witches so much, and I can't wait to use them. So let's flip the camera down and get to planning. Today we're planning for the week of September 16th through the 22nd. I think fall officially starts here, which is perfection. I'm bringing in the Witching Hour collection for my recent Starry Halloween release. In that release, we have uh, the witches and we have two sets of ghosts. So if witches aren't your vibe, ghosts may be, but I'm loving these witches a lot. Here we have a deco sheet. There's five different witches to play with as well as a cat. We have some decorative boxes with a quote, there's a little witch in all of us, which comes from Practical Magic, which is fabulous. And then we have specialty boxes, which gives us a long sidebar box, as well as a double box here and some other fun things to play with. I think I might pull in some of the solid boxes too that blend with this. Cauldron works real well with this. Autumn works real well with this and pumpkin works real well with this. I'm not sure if I'll pull all of them in or some of them because I do have a lot of colorful boxes here to use, but I'm excited to get started, so let's do it. I always love playing with a new kit, for sure. I think we're gonna start with these stickers since they're large because I do know I want to put this in my sidebar. So we're just gonna get rolling on this. While I contemplate, do I want to do boxes on a daily basis, or do I want to do some box clusters? Decisions, decisions. So I'm just gonna place this starting at the bottom. I'm kind of covering up where it says note there. Yes, loving that, loving that. And I can put a little decor up here at the top, but let's keep going with this because I do know I wanna use this too. So the stars, are decorating the pumpkin color boxes in this set, which is super cute because there's also pumpkins in the box. Yes. Okay, so there we go. We have these two big stickers right here. Let's keep that there. I know I wanna use this quote. There's a little witch in all of us and I love how it bounces. It's so pretty. So it's quite a large quote. Uh, it will fit over on this side if I want it over here, I could cut it and stack it, but I kind of want to keep it full. But before I put this quote in, because I'm kind of looking in this area, I want to make sure I have room for a witch. And I think for the sake of this particular spread, I love them all so much. Like I think she's my favorite, but I love her too. But I think these three could be really fun because they're just kind of living their life. They're just living their best life there. I think we're gonna use them. Let's take this one who's kind of standing because we have a standing one. We have kind of a sitting one facing that way. So we might put her over on this side and then she's just kind of dancing around. But let's use her first. Let me grab my tweezers. And I wanna put her over on this box at this far end because I think she'll fit right in here just like so. Um, loving that, loving that. And I think before we put another one in, I wanna put this quote up here, waving around her. I think it'll work. So these quotes, they're kind of thin, so when you pull them off, be mindful of all the little bits. There we go. Let me grab this end. Okay. So we're just gonna let it bounce kind of on this line, on it and above it. I'm putting the eye in which, right on that center line. And I'm dipping it a little this way. Okay, there we go. So this eye kind of, well, sort of on that line, but there we go. There. There we have the bounce, yes. Um, I love that. So there's a little bit right here. I mean, I could white that out. I think I will. 
let's let's work on that I think the best way to do that is to lift this end up a little bit but I just need to do a little bit I think that's enough I think that's enough and then let's just gently lay it back down so it still bounces yes there we go there we have it okay loving that loving it okay so now that we did this I'm thinking what I want to do is make some box clusters because I did mention she's sitting down and she would look really cute if she was sitting here on this ledge or maybe on a box let's do that so let's make a box cluster for her so let's take this one I'm gonna put this one in the line here see if this will work because she has a pumpkin and there's a pumpkin in here so it would make sense so I could set her on the edge of that or I could cluster another box with it let's grab a pumpkin starry box and put with this oh let's pull another one let's pull from here and put a solid box in the middle I think what I want to do is go with these cauldron boxes let's pull one of these smaller ones let's see if this will work so if I put this here she could kind of sit on the box on the box right I like it so what I'm lining up and I went in a little further because I do want her to sit on that box I'm lining up where the white lines are in both the boxes but let's put this box in also and I don't want it to go full here I want it over a little bit hopefully I gave her enough room to sit and again I'm kind of lining the white line a bit so let's see or we'll have to pull them up and do it again which is fine because they're repositionable stickers but let's see if we gave her enough room to kind of sit on this box I you know I think we did I think I think we did to get to get the idea there's like a little bench on her right there look at that so she's kind of sitting on that box she's leaning with this she has a pumpkin there's a pumpkin down here and she has a cat perfection let's see oh yeah loving both of those cute let's do some more let's put this witch in here and I think the place for her would be down in this area maybe we could use him too so let's use this area as decor I don't want to put too big of a box next to that big box so let's white this out and we'll use it as decor and I'm just gonna go straight up the line like so okay and let's take off both of these stickers this little cat is really cute now before I do this though there's lots of little florals in here there's another one here he's really big though he might be well especially if I want to put her in oh yeah he's too big we'll hold him off for something else unless there's another place on here for him but let's put these two down here at the bottom and she can be dancing and he can be sitting oh yes that looks really cute I'm gonna dip the foliage the pumpkins on the bottom line and the foliage goes below the quote on here says you are wildly capable of amazing things which is perfect for these fun witches and she's gonna be dancing kind of just right here oh look at that I love these vintage looking witches look at that okay super cute so there's a lot of stars on here I even have some on this sheet we'll use those probably afterwards we have a moon too let's put that up I think we'll use the stars at the end to put the final touch on everything let's put this moon up here kind of could use a crescent moon right gorgeous oh yes loving it okay we need a few box clusters and I want to be mindful of some lines so I don't think at this point that I'm going to put lines every day I think I'll put lines on some days so we can make some box clusters so let's figure out where we want some lines and I could do a box cluster here 
so I'll put some lines here. Let's use these flags to mark where our lines are gonna go. This can be like the header, I'm sorry. This can be like the header of our lines. So I can put this here, or I could put it here like this. I like to go sideways, let's do that. We're gonna put this here, and I can put a to-do word afterwards if I want to. But we'll just kind of set that there. So we're gonna put some lines there. I'll put a box cluster here. So we could put lines here. Let's use this color, which is called Autumn. That's the name of this color. I do have solid sheets in this Autumn color. This looks like a direct extension of that. That's super cute. And then if I was gonna put box clusters here, this could be a good place for them. And this could be a good place for lines. So let's put some lines there. So let's grab a flag and, oh, you know what, let's put it this way. So this is kind of going where this is, so be a little mindful of that. There we go. Don't want to disrupt that curve. And I set a box cluster here, so let's put lines, well, let's put it right here. So then let's use this um, pumpkin with the stars. And we went that way, so let's do that way again. Now this one I'll have to probably put a little less lines because I have a quote that's going into the box, but you know, that's okay. I usually put about five lines. We'll see how many we can fit. There. Okay, so that's gonna mark where our lines are gonna go. I'm really loving this. Let's work on doing our box clusters. So we have this sheet of boxes and we have another square box. We put a square here. Let's pull this one off and figure out what we wanna do with this. I don't know if I wanna do this in a box cluster. It would have to be on this side. That's kinda of close to that. It has the witch hat. Um, I know, let's put it up here. Since I have a big box down here and I didn't put lines up here, let's put this box straight in the middle. It can denote something fabulous like the first day of fall, we'll celebrate it. I can't tell if that's straight, is it? You tell me. Okay, I think we got it straight. Enough, straight enough. So let's work on these. So on this side, I have a lot of this solid color and just a little bit of this. And on this side, I have a lot of this and just a little bit of that. Well, you know what, let's do, let's do, let's do the, let's do our clusters with the same. Usually I like to mix them up, but we'll see. I think we can do this the same. And then we can add another of those boxes. So on this side, I wanna go over the line a bit. And then this side, I'll go right on the line. Yeah, let's do that. Let's go over the line just a bit, like so. We'll start at the bottom. And we're gonna overlap these boxes, but I wanna keep this one on the line because I do have lines that are going next door. There we go. And then I have this space here. So we could pull in, here, let's pull in another one of these smaller kind of boxes. And the way I like to do the clusters is giving them the space in between that kind of blends. So we have that happening. I could bring this one down a little bit. Let's do that because I want, it to stair step a little bit more so that that goes up a little higher. Let's play with that. Let's bring this down like so, and let's pull this up a little bit. Okay, I like that better. That way, these two are connected, which is fine, and this one goes up slightly. I like that stair stepping quality. Okay, let's do the same thing over here. We have two other boxes, and we're gonna put all the red boxes on this side. Okay, so we're gonna put this one here, and then let's put this one again. We're gonna go down a little bit into the box, like so, and then let's grab this other little one and fit it right in this section. So it goes out of the lines, 
but it, it's a little higher. It's a little higher. So it stair steps and then you have this breathing air. That's what I like. That looks really cute. I think it's time to put in some lines. So I have my checkoff stencil from Happy Planner and I have a gel pen that's a gray. I thought this light gray might look really nice in here. And I know where my lines go because it's where those banner flags are. I'm gonna to try to put in probably about five lines for each one. So uh, here we go. Okay, I think that turned out really nice. I like this uh, gray color. I went a little, I touched that, but you know, that's all good. I moved it up a tiny bit and it got a little bubble. <laughs> but all's good, all's good. Okay, I think what I wanna do now is put some of these stars in. So these stars are a little smaller that come on this sheet. So let's put these in first. Let's put one at the end of this right here let's kind of go just right there that's really cute I could maybe put the other one there let's see where we go with these because I do want to put one up here by the moon and yeah let's give a star up here yes that looks good and let's decorate these little corners with a star so these stars flip in two different directions. So let's put this one kind of right here, just to give it some magic, right? Let's give it some magic. Let's take this one and kind of set it right down in this area here. Yes, some magic there, loving that. And then we'll take this one here and put it right in this area. Or should we go down here? Maybe we should go down here. Let's go down here. Put a little magic here. It's going over the line a bit, but that's okay. This box is crooked. We might be able to get over it. We shall see. And um, we definitely need some up here, right in this area to kind of go with that. And let's give her, this is too close to this, but we could give her some magic. Kind of bring it up there. Oh, I have one more, this little one. I could put it here. It seems a little close to that. I could also put it here, which makes sense, right? Let's do that. I wonder if we can move this down just a touch. I don't know, does that magic kind of go with it? I love it and I think we're done. So let's get the planner and put her in. I love having all this magic in my planner for next week. Maybe it'll make my week go magically. <laughs> There's a little witch in all of us. I love that quote too. I think I really want to watch Practical Magic. I haven't seen it. Um, did I watch it last year? I don't even know if I watched it last year. Definitely need to watch it. I love it. These witches are gorgeous. They're vintage and really cool. We got a cat going on. We have some pumpkins. We have a little witch hat and a bunch of stars. This is part of my starry Halloween collection on my Etsy shop. And I will link it down below for you so that you can check it out. I also released again, as I said, some ghosts. And I want to share with you these cute ghosts. These are some of the freebies that I'm sending when people order part of the Halloween collection. We have this ghost that says and has the word spooky. This cute ghost says boo. And this goat says, eek, oh, love this so much. I can't wait to play with all the ghosts. But even if you ordered the witches, you still get a ghost. So there we have it. Okay, let me know what's going on for you next week. I would love to hear from you down in the comments below. Thank you all so much for joining me. I hope you have a magical day and I will see you in my next video. Bye.